Come on, nah, now, I just called them. You gonna call these next one, okay? Roll these dice. Okay, roll them, then. Do what you gotta do as a man. I'm gonna do it. Okay. It's for your mother and your sister, nigga. Oh, man, hold, hold. We talked about mom, sister, stuff. I told you, keep my people out your mouth. Hold up, man. I'm not. Motherfucker, all you do is sit on the sofa from morning to night playing them goddamn video games and smoking that shit. The baby needs diapers, baby needs milk, baby needs shoes, and you ain't doing nothing to help me in this household. And you gonna ask me what time I'm gonna be back? Man, get the fuck out of my face. Uh, I sold drugs during this time. Um, I never tried to learn in school. I always had bad grades. You know, my teachers would say that I had the potential, and I realized today that I did have the potential, but I never really tried. Um, again, uh, I just made a lot of bad choices. Um, I had a therapist that used to come to the house for me. Uh, I did get left back in school. Um, I went to Germantown High School. I got left back a year. Then I wind up going to an alternative school and eventually going to um, a private school, Rittenhouse Academy, where I got put back up. But even in this school, I, you know, I did the same thing, hooky parties, smoking weed, getting high, selling drugs. Um, by the age of 18, I was smoking crack cocaine. I had money, I had women, I had, uh, I had 14 kids, I mean, I had, Everything was good, but I had a void in my life, man. And the void was, I said, if it's a God, I mean, you got to understand, I was tired. I was tired of all the killing, all the, all the money, all the all, uh, females, you know, I, you know, everybody wanted me. It was just like the one young boy said in church, it wasn't about, it was about the Benjamins. They wanted, you know, they wanted the money. They didn't want John White, you know? So it came to a point, I said, uh, Man, what is my life going to turn out? How they going to kill me? You know? There are many names for money. Bank, Benjamins, dead presidents and bread. Cabbage, cheddar, dough, filthy lucre got me tossing and turning in my bed. Plotting, scheming, hustling to get more. More money, that fast money, that's what I implore. Selling drugs, carrying guns. Man, I thought that was fun. Fast money took my father, my brother, and my son. I should have listened to my mom. She used to say money is the root of all sorts of evil. But mom, I love the shop. I run the block. I don't care about the cops. Oh no, pop, pop, pop. Now it's too late. Fast money, locked behind a gate. that I can't keep doing these same things. My model's already made up what I need to do, you know, and that I need to try to be, regardless whether I'm Christian, Muslim, whatever it is that I choose to be, to try to be the best at it. You know, everything is always about self-improvement. Each day I wake up and I say to myself, how can I be better today than I was yesterday? How can I be more productive today than I was yesterday? So this is the progression that I'm going through and it's a struggle, I still go through it. You know, um, I came home in 2004. I ended parole in 2007. Here it is, 2013, and I still struggled every day with, you know, being patient. You know, um, I still struggle every day with keeping my temper in check. You know, I still struggle every day with, you know, doing positive things. You know, because it's so much easier, that fast money. That fast money is so much easier. You know, but in the long run, you know, you have to ask yourself, is it worth it? You know, and when everything has come crashing down, what is it that you're willing to exchange for this fast money? You know, are you willing to exchange your freedom? You know, for this money that's not gonna be around for you? You know, it's not gonna have you for bail money, lawyer money, you know, it's just quick money for here and now. You know, uh, how is this fast money that I obtained out here, you know, hurting others? How is this money going to benefit me once I die? 
I can't take it with me. You know, so, and, and these are some of the factors that come into play every time where I go through a neighborhood and I say to myself, wow, I can make a killing here. You know, but in the long run, what is it that I'm willing to sacrifice to make this happen? You know, and my answer for this is, I'm not willing to sacrifice anything.